Legendary Go player Lee Sedol, widely considered one of the world's best, just retired from the game saying that powerful artificial intelligence programs such as AlphaGo can play the game at a level human players cannot. His reasons for throwing in the stones has reignited conversations about AI and what it means for us, as in all of us, humanity. So who exactly is Lee Sedol? And what is Go? It's a strategic board game, much like chess, with an estimated player base of more than 100 million people, making it one of the most popular in the world. The board is made up of a 19 by 19 square grid. Two players, black and white, battle it out for supremacy by capturing area on the board, which happens when you successfully surround an opponent or region. Once a piece is played, it cannot be moved, and at the end of the game, the territories are counted, and the player with more control over the board wins. The game itself is quite simple to understand, but once you sit down to play, you quickly realize how difficult it actually is and how many possible strategies you can employ. The sheer number of positions that can be played in the game are this many, to be exact, which is more than 300 times the potential positions in chess and also more than the total number of atoms in the known universe. And least at all, well, he's considered one of the greatest players of all time. He's known for his aggressive and unconventional play styles and is regarded as a national icon in his home country, South Korea, where more than 8 million people play the game. He's been described as the Roger Federer of Go with 18 international titles and 32 national ones under his belt and has been one of the world's best for much of his 24 year long career. In 2016, Lee accepted a challenge from Google's DeepMind Lab to play against their AI program AlphaGo for a record-breaking million-dollar deal. Leading up to the five-match challenge, Lee was confident he would win, even going so far as to say that he wasn't just playing for himself and his country, but for all of humanity. The tournament against AlphaGo garnered much attention from the press, and more than 100 million people tuned in to watch the anticipated matchup. He eventually lost the tourney four games to one, and despite apologizing to all those who supported him, the experience humbled him. I have learned a lot through this experience. AlphaGo showed us that moves humans may have thought are creative were actually conventional. I think this will bring a new paradigm to Go. But despite this, three years later, DeepMind's developers announced that the latest version of AlphaGo defeated the version that beat Sedol 100 games to zero. Soon after the announcement, Lee retired from the game he dedicated his life to mastering, leaving us with some interesting questions. With the debut of AI in Go games, I've realized that I'm not at the top even if I become number one through frantic efforts. Even if I do become number one, there is an entity that cannot be defeated. You see, for Sedol and the millions who play around the world, Go is more than just a simple board game, and treating it as such would do it a major disservice. It's widely considered to be the oldest continually played game in the world, with some sources dating its origins back to more than 4,000 years ago. But it is said to have been popularized during the Zhou Dynasty, which ruled over much of China for most of the first millennium BCE. In fact, alongside calligraphy, traditional painting, and the Gu Qin, an ancient string instrument, mastering Go was considered one of the four main accomplishments that defined a Chinese nobleman. And the sheer complexity of the game is why it's regarded as the holy grail for artificial intelligence developers worldwide. Some historians have said that the game is an abstract representation of war, while others link it to ancient Chinese cosmology, with the board and the pieces being metaphors for our relationship to the universe. And this is particularly poignant. For a top-ranking player such as Lee Sedol, who was a 9 Dan professional, the highest rank a player can attain, it's clear that Go is intrinsic to how he defines himself and why his retirement is such a big deal. As artificial intelligence continues to breach new frontiers, its potential to excel and even surpass human ability is abundantly clear. And it's inevitable that this will likely lead to feelings of disappointment, loss of purpose and inadequacy. In the case of Lisa Doll, we're talking about a person who has refined their art to an almost peerless level and is now equating his own accomplishments to those of machines. So, did Lisa Doll retire from Go because of the pressure to redefine himself? And as coexistence with AI becomes more integral to how we live, perhaps Lee's retirement is not so much about how we define artificial intelligence or what it's becoming. Perhaps it's an important reminder of how we choose to define ourselves.